2017 Mount Sac Cross Country Invitational here in Walnut, California. Doug Soul is coach at Great Oak High School. Boy, do they have a meet for the ages on the boys side. Team time record looks like they ran 74.41. Took down the mark that was set by the previous holders. Great Oak 2015, that's a group of course that won the 2015 Nike Cross Nationals. The girls right around 87.30, it's a 17.30 average. Also a course record here. The course was very, very slightly different, but depending on who you ask, it might be one or just one or two seconds slower or one or two faster. So pretty much it's a wash. No matter what, definitely all time historic performance. What did you think today coming in as to what the kids could do and in the, in the aftermath, what did you think? You know, our, our workouts have looked really good and we felt like they were gonna perform at a pretty high level coming into this meet, so we're not overly surprised. Um, you know, we always say Mount Sac is where you're gonna start to see Great Oak, you know, really look like what they're gonna look like at the end of the season. So um, our kids knew it, they felt good. The workouts have been really, really good uh, this week, so not real surprised that they ran well. Obviously the girls are running better than people expected us to, but I've been saying once Ariana Griffiths kind of got back into the flow that, that we would be back up here and, and she was our fourth today, not too far behind Sandra Fluha and in 13th place, 17.56 I want to say her time was. So um, she's getting stronger each week. By the time we get to state, she's going to be a real monster. So Both teams are rolling. Both teams have been rolling all year long. Which one so far has been probably the tougher one from a coaching standpoint for you and your staff to get ready? I know they're both performing very well. But anyone a bit more challenging to get where they're at right now? Oh, yeah. The girls, without a doubt, have been a lot harder to coach. I mean, Tori Gaetan and, and Fatima Cortez ran really well today. They were first and fourth. And those girls are a piece of cake. But after that, it's been a lot of young kids that we've been having to develop and get there and um, you know getting Devin Ito back and getting Ariana back has just kind of injected them with some confidence and um, we're we're trying to find our seventh we had a really good run out of a freshman girl today Brianna Weidler was seventh and in, in the uh, was, was our first girl in the JV national race and our seventh overall time wise so um, you know she'll probably be inserted into the top seven here shortly and I think that group of seven girls is gonna be really good the boys have been a piece of cake these guys have known what they've wanted to do and they are working. I don't have to motivate them in any way. Um, I just try to remind them of the things they need to be doing. And this is, honestly, this is probably the, the least amount of coaching I've had to do as far as these boys go. They are a very intrinsically motivated team. So the 2015 group, strongest cross country team ever in, in US history, some phenomenal performances. This group, when we interviewed them twice, they made reference to that team. How often do they bring that team up? How often do you need to bring it up? I mean, you mentioned they're pretty much self-motivated, but uh, they obviously have some huge goals. Yeah, I mean, I think they look at those guys as, as the, the kind of the mile markers for what they need to be doing. If they can run as fast at Mount Sac as those guys did, you know, that the 2015 team won by 49 points. So, you know, at, at NXN. So I think they're saying if we're performing like this, then we've got to be a team that's going to be tough to beat as well. Um, you know, and I just try to talk about the mental aspect. That 2015 team's mental uh, game was was perfect, uh, you know, for most of the guys at the the NXN race. And so it doesn't matter how good we are right now if these guys don't have the mental fortitude at NXN, they'll get beat. So that's really the biggest thing I'm working on with them is just making sure their their minds right. Today, I think the big difference was Tyler Tickner, our junior. Cool, unbelievable race by Tyler. Uh, you know, he's he's been five, six, seven most of the season. He ran 14.52 today, and wow. I was closing on Jacob Corey and really, really ran well. So if he runs like that the rest of the season, I don't see us getting beat. Now, Tyler, if I remember correctly, he actually made the trip as a freshman out to New Balance to track me. Yep. Now, a little bit surprised in a sense. What was the, the process with him as a freshman going out there? He wasn't in your top group. What, what was the start behind that? Uh, you know what? He just has a lot of potential, yeah. and, and he was one of those kids that, that wanted it. You know, he really wanted it. So um, we always try to take kids that, that want to put that time and effort in and stay focused and stay working, and he was definitely one of those kids that wanted to do that and I think we're starting to see that pay off today. Um, he's not one of those kids you're going to drop in a mile and watch him go out and you know run an Isaac Cortez type race. He's more of an even pace kid and uh, he was able to run a really solid even pace today and it, it definitely paid off. So you already stole my next question. I was going to ask you in a sense which kid both boys and girls stood out the most. You mentioned for the boys it was Tyler. How about for the girls? You know what? It, in two different ways. Obviously Tori winning. Tori's a she's an amazing athlete. I knew in the first probably 800 she was going to win because she was sitting there with those girls and she came by and I said, Tori, you're going to win this race. And she looked over at me and nodded her head and I thought, okay, she's got this. Because I don't think there are very many kids in the in the state that can out kick her. She's got a really good kick. Um, so I felt confident she was going to pull the victory. And then uh, Fatima Cortez ran 17.09 today and she has improved by, you know, a couple minutes every single 
every single uh, race that we've had and she's just getting stronger and stronger. We did a workout the other day that was crazy and they ran multiple repeat miles and her last mile was a 510, which is faster than her mile PR last track season. So she knows she's fast and I think her confidence is there to try to stay with Tori and those two are only getting faster, so I'm pretty excited. From the opening weekend, I know at Seaside she ran really well and she's been keeping it rolling ever since. Mm -hmm. The team, and obviously a big, big difference. So once yeah. again, Great Oak. Team time records here at Mount Sac, both boys and girls at the 2017 Cross Country Invitational with Doug Soles, the coach at Great Oak High in Temecula, California.